All right, so this will be our last example for this section. Um, we're going to try to find points of intersection for two curves. Um, now this is going to be important because in, in the next section we're going to look at doing calculus with polar curves and we want to do things like computing area, for example. And if you're calculating area between polar curves, you need to know where they intersect. Now, I hope you've had a chance to look at the, the nice gallery of polar curves that's included in the book. Um, there are some very nice, you know, a lot of polar curves are very beautiful, right? And there's a lot of interesting curves that you get. Um, and if you look through the gallery, you'll find that this one here, this is a, this is a Limasson, okay? Uh, this is just a circle. Okay, that's just a circle. That's all that is. Okay, um, it's it's much the same as, as this one here, except without the two, um, this will just be x, and so you'll get uh, a quarter here. Um, yeah, it's a circle of radius one half centered at one half. So we can actually, you know, we can plot the two curves, right? The circle, the circle is here, like so. And that was there. Um, the Limasson goes out one, two, three, four. It's much bigger, okay? Um, and it does something like this. Comes out. Okay, actually, let's, let's do a different color. Um, so it comes up, comes in, much like the cardioid. Um, but the cardioid kind of now bounces back out. The Limasson keeps traveling around and there's an inner loop like so, okay? So we should get a picture like that. Uh, and I think I've drawn that loop correctly. I'm pretty sure it does not completely enclose the circle. So we can see, we can see from the picture, if you know how to draw them, you can see there should be three points of intersection. How do you find them? Well, the point is that at those points of intersection, right, there should be some point of the form r theta. And it should be the same r and the same theta for both, right? So we essentially just equate the two, right? It's the same r value. So this r value should equal that r value. So we set them equal, right? And we, and we go. Now, the only possibility we might run into is that maybe we get r and minus r. There are those kinds of things we have to watch out for. Um, usually things sort out. Um, the main one that causes trouble though is r equals zero because you can get r equals zero for a different value of theta here than you get here. Um, so first thing you check for when you're looking for intersections is do they both pass through the origin? Do they pass through the origin? Let's see. Well this one I would need cos theta equal to minus a third and yeah, that works out, right? We can pass through the origin. We can find a value that does works for that. Um, for the circle, r equals zero, certainly at pi over two. Um, cos theta is equal to zero at pi over two. These are both possible, right? Um, for the first, for the second. Okay, and now if r is not equal to zero, well, then we, we assume we can get the same r value from both for the same theta value, right? Matching r and theta. So we say, okay, let's set 1 plus 3 cos theta equal to cos theta. Okay, so that gives me 2 cos theta is equal to minus 1, or cos theta is minus 1 half. Okay, so cos theta is minus 1 half. Um, and now it's not that theta is r cos of minus a half because we do want to include all the way from 0 to 2 pi. We don't necessarily want to just restrict ourselves to 0 to pi. Um, and so we say, well, what are all the values for cos that give me minus 1 half? Uh, theta could be 2 pi over 3 or 4 pi over 3, right? And then we can go back and we can check that that works out, right? Um, so in, in this case here, cos theta will be minus 1 half for both. And if we come over to here and we put that minus one half in, right, we're getting one minus three halves, which also gives minus a half, right? So it works out, right? So th those points of intersection there correspond to theta is equal to two pi over three or four pi over three, which are actually here and here, 
but R is negative for both, so we get, we get those points of intersection there.